finally, we all remember how heavy school books can be. But one Charlottesville company is looking to lighten the load. Lonnie Quinn has the story. Book bags. Bags for books. They're under attack for hurting children's backs. But now there's a way to make them lighter. We're putting the textbooks online and adding all sorts of interactivity where students can get in and manipulate things and explore and discover things on their own in the process. So, it's a computer thing. And Explore Learning, a Charlottesville company, is looking to help students and teachers with the latest technology. In the uh, upcoming year, we're going to have things where the teacher will be able to control what the students are seeing on their computer, either in the classroom or from a remote distance. So they'll be able to easily direct the lesson. As of right now, Explore Learning gets nearly 250,000 hits every day. And that alone might speak of its success, but the real measure of its success lies with the students. I could not quite grasp the concept that adding anything to anything could actually come out with a lower number than you started with. And seeing the one arrow going one way, and then as you added the negative number, seeing the other arrow turn back on it, it just would have been very extremely helpful. I think that would be really neat to see like cars crash on the screen, and then the, you can tell like their force was 50 miles per hour, and therefore the impact was... I mean, I tried a lot to understand math and to get my grades up, and I mean, this is just another thing, and I'm, I'm all for it, basically. Well, how are, how are you grades in math? I'm not going to say. <laughs> <laughs> and on that note, in Charlottesville, Lonnie Quinn, Dateline 29 News.